Eka mana nziza mana nzima turagushima muri uyu mwanya uri kumwe natwe tugirie neza ibyo tugiye kuganira byose muri Askepol uvugana natwe duhubwenge bwawe tugirie neza mu izina rya Yesu amen Amen Dero ndasaba Pastor Jean Paul Jean Pierre kudusomera ibyifuzo dufite nako kudusomera ibibazo mufite hano Rakose, yesa shimwe ni shimiye kwa ndikira hanu. Fite, ibi wazo bibiri. Kuwe riki, yondi mo gusenga, umunu wakafuga, mundi miruhande rwanje numva mi indutse, kandi njewe, hajanzi ufuga. Chivazo chaka viri, harumunu, vurijihe, yon senje urugo rwanje, niwe mbona. Mubjukuri, hanzi. Yewe, nanje, simuzi. Ari kuyo nsenga, mbonari we mutkware wanji. Kandi, ari, ari mumahanga. Kandi njewe ndi murguanda. Sinamu jirira, amaranga mutima. Kuchi mbandewa, ari kure, changu, ya anje, ese nukuwe richi koko. Ese koko, jasho wakako, imana, ya nyereka umunu, vijeze aho. Changu anaratewe, sinavi menya, murakosi. Shalom, shalom, praise Jesus, Father. Uh, my, I have two questions. First, each time I pray and there's a person next, sitting next to me speaking in tongues, I always feel connected somehow, although I do not speak in tongues. Question number two, I would like to know, uh, each time I pray for my future family or my marriage, I tend to see this person appears as I pray. This young man lives abroad and I do not have emotions for him. He doesn't know me, and I don't know him. So I wonder, is it possible to have such revelation, or I'm being deceived spiritually? Thank you. Ikiwato chambere, yumu ulikumenu munu senga mundi, mi umva nawe uhi indu. Sisi, na menyimpi indu kari konda tekeza kwa nawe, umva hari kiwa ye muri wewe, ni konda hekeleza. I don't know what kind of change that you feel within you as you pray with a person sitting next to you speaking in tongues. But I think you are connected somehow. Icho cha kuvuga hanuko niba numvisheneza imbi induka izigiri hanuko na ukururuwa. Nukufa kona ufitiyompa hanuko kuvuga mundi mi. Changwe se imba hano yugusoba nurindi mi. Ari kiyompa ndiwire kura ugirubu kwa oba. Urachafu nze mumutkwe haruko nutire kura kuilanguzi vuge mo. So if I understand well your question is when you are connected with this person you may have a gift of translating the the tongue interpreting the tongue or speaking in tongue but you are still closed up you are not open and releasing yourself So when this person speaks in tongue next to you you need to release yourself loosen up and start speaking as well Ikiwa do chaka bili uomono usenga ugahuru uomono mono imbere ya usenga kwa leo muzo wakana uramba zawa tese ni wiki kandi wavuze kutamuzi ni wata atakuzi sibzo donke nomono nomuzi. Okay. And you say the second question you have is when we pray, there's a person always comes to your mind or in a vision. You don't know the person and the person doesn't know either. Ahabira goerero. This, this is hard for God to reveal to somebody you don't even know. It's, it's hard for you to, uh, to be revealed to somebody that you don't know. Unless if it's of God. If it is of God. Izi ya ranjayo njine umumenye. Ariko ntibi kubuze kwe merira undi wese waza kukurambagiza. Ngutegere juyungu uyu. He will make a way for you to get to know him, but you should not stop from being engaged or being proposed by somebody else. Uzakukupropoza Usenunge mereha nyumurewe ni ibari imani za itibzichu. Kuko igufiti wa mugambi. If it is of God, no matter what, no matter who else you are engaged to, he is going to bring that person to you. You should not just hold yourself and closing yourself 
from being uh, proposed or being engaged to somebody else. If it is of God, no matter how far you go, the person will come to you. Mm. Okay, Ikindi. Mirwe apotre dukunda imana data ibane namwe ndashaka kubaza ikibazo kigira kiti Ese umuhungu n'umukobwa bakundanye bagashakana imiryango ibizi baratanze inkwano ariko ntiba ntihaweho gusengerwa mu rusengero nari ya ceremony yose aba akoze icyaha Shalom apostle we love you so much and may God bless you my question is, for a young man and a young lady getting married, um, but they are, they are only a families are aware of their marriage, but they weren't officiated by church. Is it a sin? What is a sin here? It is a sin. It is something that is agreed or upon a group or a culture that is a sin or not a sin. Before people were saved, there were sins. Being sti stealing, murdering, and uh, betrayal. Those were sins. And when people got saved, there were another other sins. Now we know that drinking alcohol is a sin. But back in days, that was a culture. And when people got saved, they realize and know that drinking is a sin. So when you drink and you know it is a sin, but you still refer to the culture back in days, that's a sin. So here becomes a sin because as a believers, our culture and it is agreed before God that you have to, your marriage need to be officiated in the church. So when you go against it, when you violate it, it becomes a sin because even within your heart, you will still have that judgment. Uh, so what is God? So what is a sin here? So being officiated in the church or religious, ceremony. It's not a ceremony. Or it's a blessing when a God unites two to be one. You tabi kozereiro kandurumu Christo. So when you don't do it yet, you are a believer. It's not good. Kumana wi mana. As a, as a child of God, I don't understand how you would, you would not accept and receive the blessings of God who is the father of the family. So when you don't do it, you are lacking the blessings from God. You lack the blessings of God. So it's necessary whether you go you pay your dowry, whether you go to court, you get, you are civilly uh, you are legally married, yet you have you still have to go to church and get the blessings from God. Otherwise it is still a sin. Yeah. Yes. Hello, Apostle. Esumunu ya kora ichi iyo ashaka kunesha. Icha ha cha mubase umunu agashaka kujireka. Nyimi siri nguwe viga kunda. Ariko kwa muna ane vikanga. Ircho, gurcho, gurcho. Mm. Shalom, Apostle. What can one do to overcome a sin that has bound them? Uh, for instance, you try seven days without it, but on the eighth day, I <coughs> fail. So what can I do when it's repeat? It's a circle that repeats itself. There is not a captive that sets himself free. Somebody from outside needs to come and deliver you. Meaning this. So 
So when you are always repeating same sin, same sin over and over, over again, that means you are a slave of that sin. For a prisoner to be free, he needs someone to set them free. Likewise, for a sin, when you are bound by it, you need to speak to somebody to pray for you and deliver you free. That's what we call deliverance. You may deliverance. Beside deliverance, after deliverance, there are principles for you to follow through in order for to never be attempted and again. So why do you fall in the same scene over and over? Again? It's because you fight wrong. A sin is fled. They do not resist. Satan, Satan we resist. We don't flee from him. The Bible says flee from sin but it tells you to resist Satan and fight him but you do the opposite. You flee from Satan and you resist the sin. That's your problem here. Your flesh, your body so your flesh or your body cannot resist the sin because they corroborate. They are very friendly. An example. Let's say you quit drinking but you repeat tomorrow. What takes you back to drinking? Friend, friends. They will call you to meet in the same spot. You will go determined that I'm not going to drink, but you find yourself drinking already. But what I would say to you, quit, give up on your friends, change your friends, find new friends who don't drink. That's how you will be fleeing from the scene of drinking and you will be saved. If you feel the last of drinking comes and you are not where the drink is alcohol and you are not with people drinking then you pray casting out that Satan. Satan will flee from you. But that's how you will be fled from the sin. Amen. Amen. Shalom, Yesu ashimwe nashaka kubaza ese ni gute umuntu akuza umuhamagaro wiwe mu gihe yamaze gusobanukirwa icyo imana yamuhamagariye ikindi umuntu afise umuhamagaro w'intumwa nkamwe mwamufasha iki gukuza uwo muhamagaro Shalom praise Jesus I would like to know how can one how can I grow my in my calling and also if my calling is to be an apostle like you how can you mentor one First of all once you understand what your calling is you start learning things that are that are related to your calling. When you know that your calling is to be a physician, you have to go to medical school. If it is a singing, you study music. If you know you need to be a shepherd or pastor, you go to biblical school. So you need to study what you are calling is. Number two, if you cannot go to school you approach those with similar calling and they teach you that's also another school they, they teach you according to your calling and your question if your calling is to be an apostle how can you be helped so we need to know exactly if that's your calling. Because you cannot have an apostolic calling, yet you don't have a church. An apostle is who, the one who opens multiple churches. An apostle is the one who goes around the world 
planting churches and expanding the kingdom of God. And an apostle is also the one who suffers most. Mostly because of the gospel that he carries. And, and the, and the and also an apostle is the one who have, who have a fellowship at high level with Jesus even at some point although it may not be a condition but has met with Jesus so those are the signs of an apostle they go through trials and, and temptations so you want to know how can you be helped First of all, understand that that is your calling. Then you go to an apostle who will, who's going to help you as you are together. So that requires you to have a mentor as an apostle to train you. So those are the characteristics of an apostle. So those are the characteristics of an apostle. Moransenga, Diriza, Gerajaza Quejera Vasensi Chane, Ariko Umbo Nyab Gambere, Wes, and Somaho Karand, Nivaza, Nidjariziza agenda. Praise Jesus, Apostle. I have a question as well. And how can I break generational curse? I have prayed, I have fast, uh, I've done all, but even a, pr a prayer person sees it in me that I'm bound by generational curse. When will I be free and how can I be free? If you, saw, if you have been prayed for and you have broken the generation of Christ, you, you are missing something. After prayers and the breaking the generation of Christ, there are principles that follow. So when you follow these principles, it happens. An example. Maybe at your house you have a generation. Of, oh, in your family you have a generation of a curse of poverty. You have prayed. You have requested prayer. You have approached prayer for people as you say. Even when they start praying for you, they see this generation of curse. Number one. You need to have faith. That when they pray for you, it is done. So within you, whatever generation in you you have to have that faith that it, when you have prayed it is done and there's no more that curse on you because sometimes Satan can reveal to people what has been done to you so you have to have that principles of faith in you and just decide I have no generational curse it's been prayed it's over number two start a business find a job do something. Believing that there's no generational curse. There God can help you. Number three. It's knowing and understanding the principles of sowing and reaping. Pay, giving you your offering, paying your tithe. If you do this, God casts out the curse of your poverty in your home. So there are principles to be a noble person, to work. Number four, 
there are principles to follow each time you pray and each time you cast out demons. For instance, you may cast out the uh, generational curse of poverty. So you need to replace it by wealth or by riches. Okay. Don't worry, Ibzo. Shalom, Father. Jifuza kwa waza iwiwazo. Jifuza kwa ambere. Ese mujamu techeleza kuza wa simbura. Wenda ngomwe mga atanje kuwa toza. Wachiribato. Ese wabo muzi. Ese harubi mana ikwele kako hari undi munu. Iza haguruta. Ukamurela mumuka. Wenda akazaja. Agufasha nguko eli. Yareze samweli. Jifuza kwa kabiri. Ese kwa. Urose pastel wawe na avi kandi ibyo umurose hobyo se ukabi wona viva kuriwe kujezi jihe urota aje kukwichisha kandi koko uko wabirose akawa harina kovi jenda. Usuka wona ibyo vikorwa warose viva ukabi wonesha maso yao. Hariko uwaja uwaja uwona uompastel wawe uvimu korela icho jihe wabi jenda ute. Shalom, Father. I have the following question. I would like to know if you have a successor or someone to carry on with your legacy that you may be training or teaching. And also, has God revealed to you who will be your helper, like or someone you'll be mentoring, like Eli, raised and trained Samuel? The second question is, if you have dreamed of your past attempting to harm you, and you see that happening in reality. What can you do? Okay. Ichambere. Number one. You want to know if I, oh, I ever thought about my successor. To be trained by me. Nigute ndeke zuzan simbura. Ntara anagia ni chongo rako muhamagara. Muhamagara wanji sindakora na. Nagatano kuija na chibzo na hamagari. Nata angira usimbu. Umunda ndaira mwaza simbu uzwa nuko maze kugira sikse ya geze kure. Njene wangi taangiru buri. Uye nao na ina agere. Nao nda agere. How can I think about my success? I don't even feel like I've reached the 30% of what I need to be. I'm just starting. This is a starter. Nata angira. He's just beginning. He's not. He hasn't gone any far. Ichonge yeho. And also. Ngwezi manarubu ya ria munye rika. Wiza hagurutza. Ngamurira munguka. Ngwa kamirangu kwe elia yareze samu eri. And you want to know if God. If God has revealed that person to me. And to be able to be trained by me. And as Eli trained Samuel. Uvuzeneza. You ask. That's a good question. Eli. Eli. Yari mategura vana was preparing his sons. And that's how it was in that time. A priest will bore a priest. But Samuel, Samuel was an outsider. It is God who sent Samuel, not, God, uh, not Eli finding him. In that case, I'm waiting for Samuel from God. So, so when Samuel comes, I will train him, but I don't have Samuel today. Or maybe I have him, but I don't know him yet. And I believe God will reveal him to me. Yeah, just, yeah, just. <laughs> So you said dreaming about your past attempting to harm you or killing you. So I wonder if they've done this already. Because you say it happened in your, in your reality. It's a woman you took a good question. If you give us a kid away, who is Suiza? Um, one of Urota Pastor Regia who quit Tisha got you be cover. So you give us a joke, man. Yes, yeah, I give you quit Tisha. Should I kid up? I had the time. Hi, you are there. Okay, I'm going to go. Gusa, never go quarries. So I don't know exactly the details of your question or the background of your question, but you say you've dreamed about your pastor attempting to harm you or uh, killing you. So I don't know if it has happened, but, but you say if it did, what can you do to the pastor? This would be a very painful case. 
ndumva utakomeza kuba umwana w'umurugwaho nga wa muhunga niba ashaka kukwica so according to your question here if i were you i would um, leave the pastor that's my advice i will give to you and make sure that you stay safe okay yes reka tujye kukindi kibazo rero the next question about uh, asking is for Ro Robina. Shalom, my name is Robina. I heard from the recent discussion where Apostle was explaining about gender, mentioning that it's political and satanic agenda. I felt scared because I, am, I have a master's degree in gender studies and I am a gender leader in an organization. I am responsible for drafting or, uh, organization policies and training staff and beneficiaries beneficiaries in my career could i be supporting satanic agenda so ikibazo cha robina aravuga ngo mu biganiro biherutse hamwe n'umushumba mukuru aposo yavuze kuri agenda cyangwa se kuri gahunda iri ya politique cyangwa ijanye hamwe n'ibitsina ko ari n'uburinganire n'uburinganire ko ari agenda ya ya politique hamwe na satani we muri we yumvise yagize ubwoba kuko yize ibijanye n'uburinganire ndetse ni n'umuyobozi muri organisation ni nawe ushinzwe kwandika amategeko ndetse no gutoza abakozi rero arabaza ntese naba ndi gushigikira gahunda ya satani murakoze okay urakoze cyane ninde yitwa Robina Robina urakoze thank you Robina for your question eh ikibazo cha agenda the issue of gender ubwaye si kibazo the gender is not an issue kuko ni stati yikigore gabo because it's a stat it's a status of a gender a female and a, and a male iyo ubu abantu bavuga gender iri bayivuga iri muri mu rwego runini wide a broad topic. broad yeah yes. mm -hmm. so when they talk about gender it's a, a broad it's a huge topic ariho bavuga uburinganire that's where they speak about gender quality quality kwemera e guhindura igitsina accept accepting a gender tra a transgender kwemera ubutinganyi accepting homosexuality urumva ko itakaje ya ya meaning ya mbere ya gender so now when you look at these points these branches we are losing the meaning of gender. Niba gender we uri mukora ari yingi yigitsina gore yo mugabo kubahana kubana neza aho na kibazo gihari kuko iyo ngiyo na bibirira yemerera irayumva. As I believe if, if if your studies is just about the gender in, in general the, the equality of gender mm. a male and female and what they need to be doing that's fine even the bible allows it umugore inshingano ze responsibility of a woman umugore nawe kugira ijambo a woman having a say umugore kugira icyakora a woman having a responsibility aho nta kibazo that's no issue there gender yindi ifite konotasyo irimo guhinduza ibitsina cyangwa siriho umugore gusumba umugabo ibyo ngibyo bibiliya ntibyembera ibyo nibyo satani arimo promoting cyangwa so, arimo azamura the other side of gender which includes the transgender homosexuality the responsibility of a man being taken over by a female that bible forbids abatangije mu byukuri izi muvema zaba zaba gore those who started the women movement eh akenshi ndi bari bafite uruhare rwo kugira ngo habe guhinduza ibitsina cyangwa se habe gusumba umugabo oya bagira ngo bagore nabo bave mu mazu baje kwiga kuko kera societe zimwe zavuga ngo nabagabo biga gusa abagore ntibige rero babitangije ababo bavuga tari ko natwe mutureke twige ni muri ubwo buryo kugira ngo nabo baje mu iterambere so the leaders of women movements they did not have intention of promoting uh, I would say the homosexuality of all transgender. Their focus was primarily to 
have women also have the equal rights as a man did having education having employment those that was the main purpose of this movement of women hari gitabo umugore yanditse kera cyane there is a book published by one of the females yitwaga maria mary wollstonecraft the woman name was mary wollstonecraft uyu mudamu hari kera cyane mu gihumbi kimwe 1792 this was in 1792. Yanditse gitabo kivuga ngo kurenganura abadamu bakagira nabo burenganzira kugira ngo babashe kwiga bajye muri education. This book uh, it was about vindication of a women's right mm. to be able to go to uh, education. To education and have a job. Good. Iki gihe rero nyuma hafi y'imyaka nk'ijana. Almost 100 years later haje kuza mu France era mu philosophe yitwa Charles Fourier There was a French philosopher called Charles Fourier Charles Fourier we eh, yari mu philosophe eh, wavuga cyane ku bintu bya social so, kuna babaye l'utopie socialiste cyangwa se um, eh, imibere ho yabantu ariko itariyo so this Charles focus on the social he was a uh, utopian, utopian so social. socialist uh -huh. so he will focus on the social life and how people lived Donc ni watangije terme bitangwa ni feminism He's the one who started the term that we now know feminism Mu gihumbi kimwe 1867 wari yashize imyaka ijana Maria Wollstonecraft yanditse gitabo cha vindication kivuga kurenganura and this was uh, around 183767 that about 100 years after Mary published her book about women's vindication. So in 19 centuries, abadamu batangiye gusaba nabo ngo baje mu mirimo, baje muri politique, baje gukora mu nganda kuko byakoraga abagabo bonyine abadamu bakaguma mu rugo barera nabo barasaba atari ko natwe mureke tujye gukora iyo yari mu vema weve ya mbere yaba mama gutangira nabo kujya gukora kugira ngo bagire cyo babinjiza so that's when the women also started their movements of seeking their right to have an employment to be in industries to work just as men were doing cyane cyane intego yibi kwa ruko ngo aba mama nabo ba participe muri societe bagira cyo bakora nabo bakora utuzi so the goal of their movement was to open up opportunities for women to go mm -hmm. and have something to earn something anyway hagi rero hakurikira izindi zaje kurekiperwa n'abasataniste nono batangira kumvisha ko umuntu afite uburenganzira bwo guhindura igitsina ce niba wiyumva udashaka kuba umugore bumugabo base ibyo nibyo rero hinjiye mu ubutinganyi aho niho ya yeah, yeah, agenda in this, yeah, yeah, queen, yeah, you were satanist. So, throughout these movements, another other movements started, but these were supported by satanic, and that's how they uh, implemented the movements of if you are women but you want to be a man, you can do the, the gender, the transgender. If you are a man and you want to be a woman, you can also do the same thing. So, that's when this satanic agenda was uh, introduced. Yeah, no, no, but I'm going to be a queen. So those things were introduced into the, our society. Chane chane ngo muri zamira ngo ichi nda tu zamira kugezi yumbuzi. Starting in 19 in 1900s until now. Uh, a haja move marere wa ikome chane. A very strong movement started. Aha ba vuze ubugore kubo mugore ubugore kwa liki ndo kigomba na chugushirigwa imbere so that's when they say woman, womanhood is something that needs to be promoted umubiriwe their body their eh, gender oh, their yeah. body eh, <laughs> igitina their gender eh, imyororo kere uh, they are sexuality sexuality yeah. if you don't know babziga waravuga toke nitura abano kusabu kubzara no ku kuryamishwa bakabyara natwe ngomba kwemera ngo ndabyara babiri ndabyara umwe donc ushobora kubigena aho rero ibintu bitangira kujya mu yindi context amatege kwa raza barengera akora ibintu byose barabemerera bukiye noneho umugabo akaba yacha munsi y'umugore akisumeta ibyo aho niho satani yatangiye kurikipera kuko arashaka kurwanya urugo rwaremwe n'Imana 
So that's when everything started. The women feeling they need to be promoted, they need to be equal to men, not just to be wives, uh, housewives, and giving birth. So, and that's how men start to feel uh, inferior to women as well. And that, um, remember, this is the attack of the family that God has put in place. Needs <laughs> it. So that's that's what that's what it is about. <laughs> But you, Robin, are doing what you're doing today. Ugomba kureba ni babi tari mo bigani shamuri zavi ndirero bijanye mo gure nganzira bugu mugore busumbu mugabo changu se mugore kuba yabzo kamugito ndo kimu watinge ndo mugabo pindo igitsi na ni bari zo polisi budi mukora ho sabari bibi chani chuki wa upromoting agenda ya sat eh, gahunda za satan ariko ni watari ibzo aruko kwa mungaba na wakobga vige eh, abadamu na wabonu tuzi wajile kuti ahunda akibazo so what you're doing here you have to understand if your job is to you are not promoting satanic agenda that women need to be superior to men or they need to become men when they are women that you have to be cautious and that's that then you'll be supporting the satanic agenda but if your purpose in this job is to make sure fe uh, female has equal right to education employment girls need to be educated that's fine mm. okay rekatuje kuindi Shalom team ya Ask Paul fite ibibazo bibiri nasobanura iki cyanditswe kiri mu bagaratia gice cya gatatu murongo wa 15 kugeza kuri 20 icya kabiri kuki Yoshua amaze gupfa imana itaha ya Israeli undi muntu ubayobora kuko bigaragara ko nyuma ya Yoshua abantu batangiye kwikorera ibyo bashaka Shalom, Father, and the team of Ask Paul I have two questions. One, I would like to know the, uh, the meaning of Galatians chapter 3, verse 15 to, to 20. And my second question is, why after the death of Joshua, God did not provide another king? Because the Bible says, all the people did what was right in their own eyes. So we can read the Galatians. Galatians 3, 15 to 20. That the summary. The Bible calls him uh, a mediator who, who connect the people to God and gave them the laws. Here he was explained to them, although God said he will send someone and uh, someone who will come and that will be the Messiah. So they were still waiting for Moses, or they were still working and doing things according to Moses' law, yet Messiah had already come. Because on verse 16, And the, and the, now to Abraham and his seed where the promise is made, he does not say end to seeds. Seeds. Yes. Seeds. So as, as of many, mm -hmm. but as of one and to your seed. Mm -hmm. Who is Christ? So, so everything that took place in the Old Testament or in ancient was it was a, just a prototype of Jesus. If they will all be complete, are completed in Jesus. As you can see, even from Abraham to, until 
that the recent was all about Jesus, Jesus Christ. Nta kintu wambwire cyo mwisezano risha kitavuze kidafite reference kuri Yesu ari we cyenda yakugeza. So there's not a single thing that you will bring to me from the Old Testament that isn't uh, completed in Jesus. So this is what Paul tried to explain to them. Ngo kuri 20 on verse 20 ah, 19 ngo none sa mategeko yaza we niki yategetswe hanyuma kubwa ibicumuro kugeza aho urubyaro ruzazira urubyaro ni inde riwe Kristo kwa yasid yes. ngo urugo byasezeranirwe ngo kandi yahawe abamarayika kugira ngo bayatange bayahaye umuhuza mu ntoki umuhuza ni mose ngo nawe ayaha abantu ngo icyakora uwo muhuza sumwe nyamara imana ni imwe uh, on, on 19 what purpose does the law serve it was added because trans of transgressions until the seed should come to whom the um, promise the, the what the seed the seed the seed the need jesus ni christ yes. uh -huh. yes. uh, and it was appointed through angels by the hand of a mediator mm -hmm. Now a mediator does not mediate for one only but god is one god is one mm -hmm. Urumva ko muhuza suumwe suumwe The mediator is not for one Yegomba guhuza abantu benshi It was to mediate many Ariko imana ikabimwe But God will be one Yesu yaje rero guhuza benshi kugira ngo bageze ku mana So Jesus came to mediate many but to bring them to one God Nuko ngo ari ya mategeko So the law Iri ya mihango or the rituals Biri byose everything Ni ibintu byashizwe kubera ibicumo n'abantu they were put in place because of the transgression of men. Waiting for the salvation to come. Aha, Paul yari mabwire abagalatia kuko yasanze bose bari subiye mu mihango yakera nko gukebwa gukora bi no ndavuga ati muri mu biki Yesu yaraje byo gukebwa muri mu isezerano. So this uh, Paul was speaking to Galatians because they had returned to their old rituals like uh, circumcision he will tell them well, what what are you doing jesus has come uh, this was a church of gentiles but they liked the practices the practices of the jews yes so if you continue to read Mm. Mm. Good. Uh, good. Aha. Deva rero. Yevuga ko bari mu bajudaiza abashira mu bintu bya Kiyahudi ahagiye kubabwira rero ngo icyakora. Eh 26. On 26 he was trying to guide them now. Yeah, kuri 25. 25 but ariko kwizera kumaze kuza nti twaba tugitwarwa na wa mushorera umushorera ninde tura tura ni ni ya mategeko ya dututoringaga but after the faith has come we are no longer under the under a tutor ngo mwese muri abana b'Imana no kuva ngo nti mwigana abayuda na b'Imana namwe mukomeza ibyanyu muri Yesu Kristo muri ab'Imana twese abayuda na banyamahanga turi ab'Imana so there's no need to practice the Jew because for on 26, for you are all sons of God through faith in Christ. Go, mubi heshijwe, no kuizere Yesu Christ. In fact, iyo uize Yesu Christo nawe, uja muri ya masezera na bayu dabari wa fiti. Wa kebuka, uta kebuka. So when you believe in Jesus Christ, you become, you, you join the same promise, same covenant as a Jew, whether you are circumcised or not. Go kuko mwe sababa tirijwe muri Christo mwamu amba ye kirisito. For as many of you are as were baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. Ngo no ne horero, nti akiriho umuyuda changu mugiri kumunya mahanga. Ngo nti akiriho imbata changu umudendezo. Nti akiriho umugabo changu umugore. Kuko mwese murume muri Kristo Yesu. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male or nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. Makumia biri na kanga. Twenty-nine. Numuna. Nichend. Gubgo muraba Christo mururubza rugu Abraham. Nubgo mutavuze kumara sokwa Abraham. Ariko kumwa ge muri Yesu. Muri gift. Mungaba ye. Ngate we muraba Abraham. Kuwe ira inde. Jesus. Jesus. Ngomuri na baraganwa. 
kuko byasezeranijwe muri nabaragwa nkuko byasezeranijwe and if you are in christ then you are abraham's seed and heir according to the promise ikindi kuko yesu amaze gupfa imana itaya bisire undi muntu ubayobora kuko bigaragara ko nyuma yesu abantu batangiye gukora ibindi and your other question is why didn't god provide another king because people are doing according to their own to their will of their own eyes after the death of Joshua. So there were distractions. When you are aging, you make a plan. Or those who are going to continue after you. It's not God's issue here. Uh-huh. So Joshua here made a mistake. He made a mistake of being because of maybe a, a job, the work that he was doing. So he died with no uh, someone to replace him. See, he was a servant of Moses. So when Moses was about to die, he knew who had been with him, who had been trained and observing him, but Joshua probably he was tired and all, and he was isolated because of the battles he, he faced. So no one was there to replace him. Shalom fite ikibazo mu bami ba kabiri 11. Ese kuki Anatali Atali nyina wa Azia yicishije aba abantu bose bibwami murakoze Shalom I have a question in second king chapter 11 why did Atali Atalia the mother of Azariah massacred all the members of the royal house of Judah Ahazia 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 Oh Atalia So Atalia you have to correct had a generational curse. Her mother was Jezebel. So what good can come out of Jezebel? Do you know who she murdered? Ahazia himself was a son to an at- at- Atalia. And he was a king. He died on the battle. Ahazia. Atalia. Atalia, the mother, massacred or murdered the sons of the king Ahazia. So her own grandchildren, she murdered them for her to take the king kinship. Yeah. It was a generational curse. This was a spiritual. Thank you so much for this time that you've given to me. To be able to share with you this Ask Paul discussion. May God bless you.